what's happening guys Don here and I wanted to show you guys a plugin that I made because it was based on some of the things that I do with paid traffic all the time which is basically emulating social proof or uh, producing social proof out of thin air because people put so much trust into social proof that uh, it can definitely increase your sales quite a bit so for instance, let's say we have a review site, uh, we're reviewing a product, and then we look down below and we see that, uh, you know, the most recent thumbs up on something was all these different people liked our product, or liked the product, or liked the content that we had on our page. That builds instant trust. It doesn't matter if it's a Facebook like or if it's, you know, just something simple like this that says thumbs up. What it is is there's people's names attached to it. Um, as in they liked it or they thought it was good content or whatever, it automatically builds trust. So the fact of the matter is a lot of times when you're building these building different types of review sites, etc., you don't have time to get all these Facebook lives and build all that social proof, so you do something else. You fake it till you make it. So what we're looking at right here is uh, for instance the options in this plugin. So let's say we were doing an all-female site where we expected most of our traffic to be female. We could, what we could do is uh, just save the options. What we look here is uh, everything's going to be pretty much uh, female names. If we wanted male names, we could change it to male names. And if we want both, we just leave it at both. Now we look here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six different places we can change our colors. Um, we don't actually have to show this icon right here if we don't want to. But there is a little trick to that icon, which I'll show you here in a second. And you don't have to use the icon that's provided. You can actually add your own. All you have to do is put a URL right here, and that will actually change the uh all you have to do is set this to custom and, change, and put a URL in here and it will change that. Um, but when you look at this, if we click it, right now we've got basically like a, a fake thing that pops up and says, hey, thanks for liking our content. But what we can do is go down here and tell it to use opt-in code for a pop-up message. And if we look at here, like you might, like in any autoresponder, you can create your own forms. And we might actually add some uh, text on this that says, hey, thanks for liking or, or giving us a thumbs up, you know, opt in for our, uh, for the free, uh, you know, download that we have here for you today. See, one of the things that, that basically sucks right now with Facebook is they've changed everything to Facebook email addresses. So all those plugins and everything that were released a while back that had all those, uh, that would grab all the Facebook users' emails, etc. They've all pretty much uh, gotten kicked to the curb because of the fact that it changed. They changed everything to Facebook email addresses. So instead of your normal email address you would get for somebody, they end up having a Facebook email address that shows up for a lot of those plugins and stuff that were released. So in this case, you know, I'm not going to do much with that form. But uh, if I want to copy the code right out of here, what I can do is uh, paste it right in here. Save my changes, and uh, whenever you change anything in this plugin, as far as this goes, or the pop-up message itself, everything from here down, you basically have to just click on the link over here again so that it refreshes. But anyway, if I click that, now I've got my opt-in box here. So if I would have said put some text in here, etc., that said, you know, opt-in for that free, that free report or whatever then uh, people can put their emails in here and hit go, and you've got them on your list. And, if can, and of course, all these different colors, and I'm going to close this so it doesn't come up anymore, but of course, all these different colors can be changed. Like, for instance, if we didn't even want a border, we could change the border to white, save the changes, take a look here. We have no uh, border here anymore. If we wanted to uh, get rid of the gray up here and make it blend into the... Uh, rest of the little box there we can do that and if we take a look here even on this very old site that uh, very old site from like 2008 I haven't done anything with this site but if you take a look at it 
they've got all this stuff they're reading here, and then they click this, and, you know, we can say thanks for uh, liking us or whatever. But either way, we look at it, we're building trust instantly because they see all these people had uh, actually liked the content. Now, this stuff always changes also, so when you refresh, the next time around, we might have 313 face up, or thumbs up, or whatever you want to call it, because the fact of the matter is you can change all that stuff here, so total thumbs up, most recent uh, thumbs up, and uh, the pop-up that works if you turn this off, the opt-in form, so if we say, uh, you know, thank you for liking us, we hit save. Thank you for liking us. And that's what they would see out here if we hit refresh. And it's just a good way to increase conversions because of the simple fact that you have some social proof there. You've got these people names, these people's names that are auto-generated, and uh, you can set the maximum and minimum likes to it can be a random number. So let's say I don't want any less than 1,000 likes, and I don't want any more than 10,000 likes. And I hit save. Then we've always we're always going to be over a uh, thousand and less than 10,000. So total thumbs up 4,523. We can also set the max names to uh, 10 or or even more if I wanted to. I could set this to 500. But uh, I recommend you keep it around 25 or, you know, between 10 and 25, and that would be the most recent. So that just builds a little bit of trust. So when people come to Joe, you know, we're just like little fish in a big, big ocean when we're building a lot of these different review sites. So when somebody comes to Joe Schmo's site, they don't automatically trust what they see there. But having something like this on the site can help build that trust so that you can get them to click through and you can make the sale. So hopefully you can see the value in this plugin and how it can increase the trust that the user has when they land on your site and actually increase your sales. So that's it for this. Um, pretty much uh, everything here is easy to understand. For instance, that's the width of the box. If I change the width of the box, and let's say I'll change the color back to uh, you know, a blue, you hold the mouse down, drag it where you want. Click save, and here we go. I've got a wider box now. I can make a smaller box. Whatever fits your uh, actual setup. Also, like if we see here, if we need the box to be smaller, and uh, we want it, we want it to uh, make this go underneath. You can actually use HTML in this, and we could just put uh, less than br greater than, and that's the uh, Line, new line tab, or actual a new a line break there in HTML, and if we hit save, what happen is it's underneath the box. Same thing for here. You can actually put other HTML in here as well. Like you might want to put a like you could put a CPA offer or anything you want in there. Uh, it's basically up to you.